The Lords Mobile collaboration event is here and Huawei App Gallery is back with an amazing offer allowing you to get up to 25% back on all of your Lords Mobile purchases. All you need to do is buy your packs which earn you gems and then exchange those gems for real cash coupons. Grab it now, don't miss out on a fantastic offer. All the links for the offer are down in the description below guys. If you're not using this, you're doing it wrong. Save money with Huawei our gallery. What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lord's mobile video and in today's video we've got some really cool action for you so grab your milk and cookies, get yourself comfortable, you're going to need it for this one. So starting off we're going to be doing a solo attack on Astro 3 here, um, scout reports come through, he's got 5 million troops in the castle, I don't know the troop comp or anything about what kind of troops he's got. I just decided to get myself ready for an inf blast and went straight in with the solo. And here we go. And I'm capped. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> I didn't know what true comp he had. There was no gear swap. I dropped him about 6 million might. Um, let's do a scout and see what's up. He had 5 mil. Now I get to see the scout report. I see the tier fours. Now I know why I got capped. He's down to 4.29 million troops. And looking at the infirms, looks like I went into infantry. So unfortunately, I got it wrong on this occasion. A one in three chance always. And I went inf on inf. And even with being out of gear, that much tier four, that's going to be enough to... Uh, to cap you on a solo attack for sure. Um, although saying that, had I have gone cav, I don't know, man. Maybe I feel like I would have got him if I'd have gone cav. But anyway, I get capped and I let the guys know there's 4.2 mil troops left. And uh, yeah, I'm in the prison. So peeps from TWK start to jump over. Uh, Legends jumped over just a second ago and hits the target. And he actually done some pretty good damage. Um, so I'm letting them guys know inf front. There goes Legends. He hits as well, gets capped down to 1.244. So again, some pretty good damage there from Legends. Garcia comes in there as well. And Garcia is most likely going to send a Cav Blast because I've just put inf front in the chat. And uh, again, his might hasn't changed. He's still out of gear. It's looking like we're just going to... This looks like a run of the mill kind of like zero, right? Here comes Garcia going in with the cab blast. I click on the target just before he hits and notice it goes up to 1.260 and the gear is on. So this guy was online. Um, he was looking for some solo attacks and he done really well to get them too. Um, I decide to do something I always laugh at people doing and there's me doing it, sending leaderless marches in, trying to knock him down a bit. Um, trying to counter basically i noticed he changed to range for garcia's hit so i quickly sent an infantry leaderless in although i should know better that these leaders leaderless marches just don't do they just they're just not the one you know <laughs> uh, so anywho you can see going and it, oh man I, I looking back on it you get into the moment don't you trying to <laughs> trying to do leaderless marches against this thing no good he's gonna keep he's got enough troops to keep healing and uh, his gears on now i send a third march in oh my god it's an f in the chat for my tier four but there you go anyway the funny thing was he was a really cool person he came into our guild after he released the our leaders he was laughing about it it was really good times he even said he can take rallies now i did ask if i could rally him and he said no 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 wait 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 um <laughs> no you're not you're not allowed to but he did say to red Sox, you can rally me if you want to so here we go red Sox fan 33 going in against astro 3 Obviously, this guy's only got like five mil troops. So we'll see how he goes. It's going to be a Cav Blast from Red Sox. And we're going to level two carpet here. And he's on fire. Yes, some payback. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. All in good spirits. You'll notice he did get Fury there as well. We didn't go after him again after the first rally because we just ain't like that. Uh, there's the hit though. And to be honest with you, with 5.2 million troops, obviously he has some reinforcements as well. I think he took that fairly well considering. He took it in the Cav front. If we'd have gone range, it would have been game over. But yeah, no, really nice take done a lot of damage to our rally too so yeah props to you astro it was really fun playing with you now while this was all going on and we were having some fun with astro something else was going down in the going down in the kingdom and i didn't know at first what was happening but check it out we got this dude here called frankie 37 
And he was getting rallied while we were doing all this by PGX. PGX were going in on this guy. Dragosh00 is going in from PGX. This guy is pretty thick. He's got mythic gear. He's got two 11k heroes. As far as I know, a dark magister and a shapeshifter, I believe. I'm not sure if he has Lightweaver or not, but he's a really like decent size account. Okay, so this Dragosh guy is going on this Frankie guy. Frankie's only like 700 and something million might. So oh, 728, there it is. It says it in the corner. This is uh, Frankie's footage, by the way. So thank you so much for sending your footage through to me so we could show your angle of what's going on here. The rally coming in, it's a Cav Blast. He's already switched to range. The Mythic gear goes on. Look at this. Boom, full Mythic gear. And he capped Dragosh. Fantastic stuff. So this guy caps the two 11k Mr. Dragosh over here. So Dragosh is now leaderless. And as you can see, really convincing win there. Look, beautiful take. 1.5 mil losses for Frankie. 2.3. It's a full rally gone. Capped Dragosh. You're done. So I went ahead and set a rally on Dragosh. Yes, the two 11k full mythic guy who's capped. He's not massive in might. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set one of my mix rallies um, on Dragosh here and see if we can uh, do some damage while he's leaderless. Why not, right? So I've got the rally going. I'm going to be sending a mix rally. It's going to be 866 for me. Uh, I'm going to stick myself into a range phalanx for this mix rally. And uh, it's funny, actually, because when I done this, I put like full infantry in my march. Um, so everyone that was joining the rallies who weren't reading the chat just started sending me like pure inf. <laughs> So, like, I didn't realize at first until I looked at the chat and saw, like, like someone said, yo, some people send full info. Look at this. Like, everybody's sending me full infantry. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm having to quickly send these peeps back and be like, yo, yo, guys, it's 866. Let's go now. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, sending the truth back. I uh, need to get the uh, correct mix in. Now, Obviously, I'm loading up now against Dragosh. He's leaderless. He's in fury. He's got no no choice but to take my rally, of course. Um, while this is going on, uh, PGX are trying to burn the target that they just got capped on to get Dragosh's leader back, right? So TWK bring Frankie into TWK and help him by giving him full reinforcements because we don't want them to succeed. Okay, so this was the PGX rescue attempt about to take place now on Frankie. But again, we're going to try and give him the best chance possible uh, by giving him those reins this time around. So we brought him into the guild, give him the reinforcements. We've got backstarred POS going in from PGX. And he's going to be looking to burn this trap now to try and get Dragosh's leader back. Of course, if Dragosh gets his leader back, then I probably will end up cancelling my rally because I ain't going in on a mythic champ to 11k with a mixed rally. That's probably not a good idea, right? Anyway, this dude, Frankie's got his mixed gear on. Full mythic at 722. It's a beautiful set. They're coming at him with a mix. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's in range. He's got full reinforcements. Let's hope Frankie can do it. Here it comes. And he holds. He holds the rally. Let's go, Frankie. They do get the warp back. It's not a full cap. Almost. Not much damage done to his account. But he almost caps it. They do get a siege walk back from that rally. So they know what troops he's got. But it doesn't matter now because Dragosh is in big trouble. Because in 53 seconds, your boy, Prince YT, c -c 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 coming at you, is coming after Dragosh with the mixed rally. He's over 1.5 billion might, this guy. I'm sending in a war march. Look at this. Look at this right now, guys. I'm sending in a war march to Dragosh. I'm speeding it in across the kingdom because I'm sending a mixed rally. I don't want this guy's wall up when I hit. Believe it or not, that has a big dip. Big like a difference hitting someone with a mixed rally when their wall is up and when their wall is down. So with 20 seconds left, I send that march into Dragosh. I completely break his wall. And then just to keep myself safe here, I go ahead and gem myself a quick bunny. We're gonna put this on just in case. You never know, right? This is a big account. They've got even though he's lost his leader, he's gonna have really good base stats with those artifacts and everything else he's got rocking on that account. Yeah. So here we go. 857 gear goes on all my cav set we're in the gear we're rocking put some carpets on what happened what happened he's on fire 
Let's get it, baby! <laughs> Dragos double O gets collapsed by your boy down to 1.46 billion might. And there it is, the two times 11k champ guy on fire. Let's roast your marshmallows up, peeps. Get the schmores ready. He's on fire. Oh my god. Absolutely beautiful. It's so... Oh man, I love it. When someone gets capped like this and then you burn him. He only had 12.5 mil troops. Oof. Caught him slipping there. And if you look at his comp, I mean, to be honest with you, that comp looks really low, but if he's got his leader and his gear, oh, trust me, he's going to be safe with that comp if he's got his leader in gear. But he didn't. He didn't have his leader in gear. And you're on fire, baby! <laughs> yeah, so we got him. That's the calf set he got capped in. I mean, he's got some banging gear. Like, look, 175 castles, little stars. This guy is no chump. 16 blessed. Damn. Anyway, your boy's still got a bunny burning. All right, because I didn't get capped by Dragosh, did I, right? So look, we still got a bunny burning. So I decided to go in on a full mythic 1.6 billion might player from the same family, U3W. This guy is called Fefo. And yeah, I'm going in with, guys, it's the return of the range warrior. Oh yes, we're going in with a range blast on Fefo. Now, I don't know if this guy's online. And guess what? I haven't even checked his front line. Look at his castle. It's not even smoking. I just needed to use my bunny. I saw him sitting there and I thought, you know what? You'll do. So 70% attack boost is on. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Range gear goes on. The rally walks. And eat that. Get your milk and cookies. Let's get it. <laughs> I burn full mythic 22 million troops. What? A 61,000 walk back. Counters me with the Infalanx. And I mean, he's got a good amount of tier two, but tier fours are low. That's why he burned. If he had more tier four, he would have capped me no problem at all. But managed to get him as well. Now, the question is, was he online? Well, the guild managed to find the target that we just burned out the forest. So as soon as the cords got posted in the chat, I went ahead and posted port straight over to set another rally. You're damn right I did. But check what happens when I go over there. I see him sitting there. I pull in on Fefo. I'm going to set a Cav rally this time. I click on him. I go to set the rally. Five minutes, Cav. And he is out of there. <laughs> he is running for the hills, baby. Full mythic. And he's running for the hills. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. So Fefo is donezo. I'm laughing so hard at this point because he's running away. It's just so funny. So there you go. That was that. And I, I still had a bunny burning. Unfortunately, it burned out. Okay, fine. But I was down to get capped. I was down to have some fun. So I went after another target called Silver from PGY. Again, the same family here. This guy's 1.9 billion might. He's in full monster gear. So hopefully I'm going to catch this guy napping. Now I am going for the front line this time. You can see I did test the target on this one. You can see the smoke coming out of the castle and he is in an infantry front. So we are going to be sending a full cavalry blast at this target. Now uh, you can see uh, this in the chat is talking about sending a march 15 seconds before the end here to check to see if he changes front line. Um, Although this did do it, it was a little bit late. It was like at three seconds <laughs> that he tested the target. So I weren't really going to get the chance to see anything in the chat. And to be honest with you, I was going in either way. Also, we have SBA, another guild from the TWK fam, coming in and setting the rally on silver as well. So we got the double rally up, although it is not timed. I'm about 30 seconds ahead of wiki dicks there from sba so let's fast forward a little bit we're going to be marching in about 10 seconds time the 70 percent boost goes on i'm ready to rock and roll all i gotta do is change my gear and we'll see what happens on this target here you see this testing the target there a little bit late better late than never though here goes the cav gear we're going in and boom i hit just as always and it says gear in the chat he ports away i get capped but what an amazing hit. 7.2. That's about 5 million troop loss for him. So really, really nice. Silver, good job. Nice gear. But what an absolute banger of a hit I got on him. He didn't change formation, just his gear. And then I was just sitting there chilling, just thinking about the wonderful rallies we just done and how much fun we just had. And uh, yeah, after a little while, I noticed that Dragosh has returned. Dragosh has got his leader back. And Dragosh has just set a rally on me on me what 